If you're curious about the number of COVID-19 cases in your area, there's a dashboard for that run by the Florida Department of Health. The dashboard is updated every day. It tells you things like how many people have died from the illness and how many confirmed cases are in the state. But population biology and biostatistics scientist Chris Pearl says some of the data you're seeing may be lagged. The other problem is they calculated based on the day that a test result was reported, not on the day that the test was actually taken. So they're actually commingling tests that were taken on different days. Well, at that point, who knows what's going on? Something else you'll notice missing from this dashboard is the percentage of people testing positive out of each day's results. That number is important because infectious disease experts believe this is a good way to track how the virus is spreading right now. And while the state does release those numbers, they're not easy to find. So it's interesting to say that while well, they're sharing data, but they certainly are suppressing the really useful data that all, every citizen needs to, again, what I'm trying to understand is what is the spread of infection? That's the important thing to me. A vocal critic of the state's dashboard is Rebecca Jones, a former health department employee who had a hand in designing Florida's dashboard. She points out the total number of deaths on the state's dashboard does not include non-residents who died in Florida. These are people who actually died in a Florida hospital. And I think that people care more about where the virus is in their community than they do whether or not somebody is has a permanent legal address that's in Florida. You know, Jones acknowledges the here, state does you know, publish this information, with, uh, but it's not outright on the dashboard and you have to know where you're looking to find it. 